All right. It is August 13th, Friday the 13th, 2021. Look at that amazing sky. You couldn't ask for a nicer sky than that. And we are harvesting. 2021 harvest. Kind of officially started a few days ago, but we didn't hardly do anything because the grain wasn't dry. But today it is dry. And Jenny is in the Massey 9690 combine. Combining winter wheat right now. Uh, this winter wheat was seeded last year on September. are very very long when you hold them up over my hand they are long so there is grain in it anyway it is dry uh, yesterday we took a sample it was 13.9 I would imagine it's come down because it's about uh, 84 degrees Fahrenheit so I imagine the temperature of the grain is higher and the dryness of the grain is it's come down now Jenny is moving a little bit on the slower side because uh, the concern is is that with it being so uh, dry and droughty this year there are some smaller kernels and we just don't want them blowing out the back so we don't want to push too much material through too quickly because uh, we'd th be throwing grain out the back. So we uh, swathed this or wind rowed it for those that don't know what swathing is we have a wind rowing machine that uh, cuts it in a 30 foot swath and lays it down here we've had some really horrific wind and some of the heads have been kicked out well, this one never even got cut off but some of the heads got kicked out from the wind and they're laying down here beside and that's basically going to be lost unfortunately so is wind rowing the op answer? No, it isn't. However, for peasant farmers like myself that do not have a straight cut header, but do have a wind rower, we have no choice and we wind row it. Just gonna come and take a look here where she picked up. I mean, she got the bulk of it. So there is a few stalks laying here, uh, but overall, I think she did quite well and was able to pick up probably 98% of the wind roll and process it through. What's it yielding? Ah, uh, that's a great question. We don't know yet. Probably won't know the answer to that till we're finished the field. My hope was that it was going to hit 30 bushel. I don't know if we'll see 30 bushel or not, but there was some bigger heads in there, so just hoping with these great big heads like this one here again, you know, there's a lot of these bigger long heads. Hoping that, being that the stand wasn't too robust, that there's enough heads there that are full of grain uh, to bring up the yield. But it is great, it's a great feeling to be combining or harvesting today. Uh, so I took a sample of this field on July 31st and it was a bit on the tough side so that's why I never kept going um, and we just gave it a break and now now it's ready to go this is probably still the earliest harvesting I've ever done in my career uh, on this farm I'm 39 years old so I'm sure there's been some harvesting done earlier than this in years past but this is pretty early for us so we're excited again it's a beautiful day we got a nice wind the stuff is drying down quickly 
and it's go time.